Hello, and welcome to this episode of Retro Game Living Room. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at an odd electronic game from the 90s. This is Laser Tennis. By Tiger Electronics. And this here is Zach, who's going to be playing the game with me. And he's going to be on the channel, so stick around. This is 1999's Laser Tennis by Tiger Electronics where you can play two players or you can play against the computer in a single player mode. There's not a whole lot neat on this box. We can see that when this was uh, sold, it sold for $1. So someone got a screaming deal on this game. The back shows us what we're going to get in the box. We're going to have a mat for play as the play field, two paddles, stands for the computer, which projects the laser light, as you can also see in this cutout image. It's not actually even a laser light, really. It projects the light, though. That's going to be the ball. So this is basically a form of Pong, and this came out in 1999, which is probably why I never heard of it until recently, because me and all my friends were busy playing Dreamcast. Let's get this guy out of the box. Woo! That's a lot of stuff in that box. First we have the Playfield mat. We'll see this, a better look of it, in action when we play it. Here are the two stands. The two stands will hold up the brain. So this is the mechanism that's going to move around and project the light. And here's the controls on the system. So we can turn it on. Metal one, one set match. You can see in the distance it's projecting the light. I can use the paddle to bounce the light back. And turn it off because we're not ready to play it yet. The system also has rudimentary instructions. You can see that this bad boy takes one, two, three, four C batteries and a nine volt. So all loaded up, it's quite heavy. That's enough talking about it. Let's take the paddles and go into action. I'm gonna start off playing laser tennis on a single player game so you can see how it's like Pong. Level one, one set match. So the game will start when the light bounces off of my paddle and hits into the receiver. The sound effects... I missed the ball. The sound effects give it almost a force feedback, kind of a ghost feeling. So it's like when you, when you, when you hear the sound effect, it's almost like your brain can feel that you're supposed to be hitting something. Because you're swinging at something, you can see it, and you can hear it. So a little bit, you have this phantom feeling that you're actually hitting a ball. And it's pretty neat. And this goes on This goes on a while, and so I mean, it's exactly a lot like Pong. But this is like a lot of other games, especially toy games that are hybrid toy and video games like this one here. It's more fun with two players. So let's come back with the Zack Attack. Hope you're ready, Rob. Level one. One set match. Oh, I didn't think I was going to register for this. <laughs> I thought that one was. So, Zach, do you feel a little bit of that phantom force feedback that I was talking about earlier? Yeah, I do. It definitely does trick your brain. The sound effect is pretty effective. I was pretty skeptical of it. Uh, surprisingly, it's pretty satisfying. And we did notice that... Uh, you would do well to turn your handle up to catch the reflection of the laser, but that's the only thing that really seems to affect it. It does register pretty well. One thing I think is worth pointing out too is as we had a pretty good volley going there, the ball did increasingly get faster. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I forgot that. And watch, you can even just lay it down right in front of it and sheet, sort of. Yeah. And it'll register a hit. So even when it registers a hit, it's still going to go the full distance 
that it, that it can max travel. Interesting. See, see, and there it got so fast, I just couldn't get in front of it in time. Gotcha. Yeah, so you were absolutely right. It is like an air hockey table almost as well. Yeah, actually, let's play it down try that. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was actually more effective, I think, than... Yeah, so I don't know why they went with tennis, because as we're playing this as an air hockey game... I feel like it's much more effective. Here's what, I, here's what my guess is, is they couldn't define just like this much as the hit zone. So they had to go with tennis so it could be the whole hit zone. So that's why I'm guessing they didn't do a hockey style game. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So I see what you mean. But it, it feels more natural getting like this almost as well because I can, you know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of like, I, th I think that if you play the way it's meant to be played and you actually try taking a swing at it, it feels a lot more fun. It really yeah, does. I think it's going faster when you move it. So I think it is okay, well, sharing some sort of momentum. What, what, what's test that theory? Well, immediately when I started, you know, it was going real slow. No, I think it just speeds up as the, as the volleys increase. For sure. Well, we got a lot more excited. When the game heats up, it actually gets pretty exciting. Yeah, so this is actually a really fun game. And I would recommend this to anyone who's into both toys and Pong style video games. Zach? Absolutely. I think it's a great time. I'm actually more of a video game collector, but Rob's got some pretty interesting little gadgets, and this is <laughs> one of them that I was into. I was immediately interested. See you next time. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We figured out a way that we can turn this game also into soccer, and we're going to do that by elevating the brains of the console between two chairs, and by having a rubber band to our feet, the sensors. So we're going to play a two-player game and see if we can't just kick the light around. First test. Level one. One set match. There it is. I got it. I missed it. It's very close. Try stomping on it. Okay. Or just moving my foot. Slide my foot yeah. instead of kicking. Okay. All right. So watch. Like, here we go. Oh. Close, close. Yeah, I'm just not hitting it. I think it'll work. I hit it. I missed it. It's hard when it's coming at you. This is a lot harder than it is. So, this is for pros. When you get good and you think this game is too easy. I want to try and get at least one back and forth going. Yeah, one volley? Me too. I'm not going to give up until I do. I want to be the best laser tennis player there was. <laughs> I think this is the future. This is the future of soccer. Of any MLS. Sport. It's not a laser to any sport. It's futuristic. Right. Barely had enough room to serve. <laughs> right, I'm going to try intercepting it sooner. Yeah, definitely. Don't wait. Nice. Oh, I was like, that one did not register? Oh! Hey, at least they had one back and forth. 